What is up, guys? It is another day with another review over my Hero Academy, guys. So, yeah, guys, um, we're gonna be talking about today because the actually episode 8 actually released yesterday, Sunday, guys, and I'm really hyped for what it had and all everything it contained. So, yeah, guys, um, apparently on the previous episode with Deku and Baku actually fought, they actually did fight, and, and there, it was actually a pretty uh awesome fight, to be honest. I mean, I really love the action and all the animation they had and everything, guys. So, so many good things that it had, so um. Yeah, guys, so, um, apparently the last episode, Deku and Gaku fought, and Deku actually, uh, kind of got kind of unconscious or got faded a little bit because of all the impact that he actually took through the fight, and, um, the, mostly all the impact that he took while he used the uh, all for all, the smash that he used, and the power that, I guess, the quirky that he actually has now, uh, he used it, and I guess he, he kind of passed that one a little bit, so, this episode kind of pops up where, um, yeah, it goes back to the previous episode, and then this episode is all of the rest of the guest contestants. Uh, they actually start fighting and all that, so there's so many things to go on into this episode, at least. Because apparently, this uh, awesome kind of like episode had a, a character that I really did love, especially it was Todoroki. Todoroki actually has so many amazing powers, first of all. Todoroki has an amazing powers. Um, he can actually turn everything into ice. Something that I really did love. And it, it was a quick paced, uh, I guess, match. It wasn't even a match. It was just like him walking through everybody and just touching the, I guess, you can say that, I guess, it was the the objective that they had to go, they got to go for. So, the only thing he did is Todoroki just literally froze everybody. He just, I don't know, he just says, freeze everybody, fuck it. Just, just freeze everybody. Fuck it. He freezes everybody. And I guess he says, don't even move. If you try to move, all your skin will rip off. But you can go for it either way. So, he walks through everybody and just touches your objective. It only took at least... I can't even time myself. Apparently, it took at least 8 seconds or 10. Or even 5 seconds. Like, it wasn't even that freaking long. Like, come on. That's a pretty cool guy, man. I mean, even... That's a pretty strong hero that's going to become. I mean, he's going to turn into a really talented hero ever. So, yeah... Uh, apparently, All Might was talking to, to Baku, saying that it's all right, man. Just don't go down just because he beat you, man. It's all right. And, like, you know, Baku's always being that he's always a pride person. So he's always talking that he always surpassed him. He was even surpassed a might. He said, he said all this cool, uh, he said all this stuff that he, he even, like, doesn't even know that it can actually happen at the same time. I mean, because he said he even looked at Baku, he, he looked at Toroki and said, I don't even know if I can beat that guy. Because, I mean, he, he thinks he's better than anybody, but. In reality, he, uh, he, he's really down on himself right now because Deku actually beat him. So, on that picture right there with the guy with the mask, uh, with the hand in his face, at the end of the freaking episode, it actually pops up uh, some of the evil heroes. And uh, Deku was talking at the end where uh, All Might said that some evil enemies were supposed to come in these preview days. And But those are actually the guys that are just going to come. And I don't even know if um, All Might is going to actually... All Might is going to actually have all those... The power that he's supposed to have in order to beat them. Because um, All Might... Uh, he's really going off of his power. He's, he can't really contain his power that much. So, we still don't know if All Might is really going to have the power to actually beat these guys. And I'm pretty sure Deku and all them are actually going to have all the power to beat them. Because the enemies at the very end uh, show really powerful. I mean, I can easily just see it immediately and say that they're really powerful. Especially because... So many things that you look at them and they're powerful, like already. Like, I'm pretty sure they're powerful than uh, Todoroki. And Todoroki was a, a talented a hero. So, yeah, guys, that's mostly everything I wanted to cover everything today, guys. So, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure to subscribe and stay tuned. And if you want any more videos, subscribe. And if you, I would really appreciate it, like, guys. So, yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video. And see you in the next video. Peace. And stay zombie. Always, always stay zombie and cool. Peace.